Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi and I like Bitcoin like you can see and that's why I need to make this video today. Yesterday I had a barbecue with two huge Bitcoins in the Netherlands, we had an amazing night, amazing food, we had a lot of fun and we had a lot of conversations about Bitcoin about well, the reasons behind Bitcoin, why you should enter Bitcoin, why people are entering Bitcoin. And it, it, it kind of woke me up again that I'm creating that content that I, in the beginning of my whole YouTube career, didn't want to create. I'm focusing on price and I can tell you now why I started to focus on price but I want to share my opinion that I have been walking around with already for some time but just didn't take the time to make a video today I will make that video Bitcoin for many of you like it also was for me completely in the beginning Bitcoin was something that I got into because of becoming rich People told me it's a revolution, but you can also become a millionaire. And that was the first thing at that young age I wanted to become, a millionaire. And that is what pulled me, or sucked me into this industry. And yes, of course, I updated my knowledge very quickly and understood it was way more than just becoming rich. It was the biggest revolution we would ever experience in my lifetime, maybe even in my children's lifetime. And that is what I video today needs to be about because I know that a lot of you love my videos because I talk about the price I talk about the Bam Bam in the gear I show you how to make bitcoins but the reason why I want you to make bitcoins maybe that one is not completely clear and that is what I want to talk about like I don't want you to become filthy rich to buy a Lamborghini I want you to become filthy rich to become financial and dependent and not dependent on any centralized organization, government, tax company anymore. That is what I want. I want you to be free. Bitcoin equals freedom to me. It doesn't equal millionaires with Lamborghinis, and I respect everyone who does, but for me, it equals freedom. And why might you say freedom? Just look at my Twitter, the first pinned post. They can only control you when you use their currency. The moment you have a bank account and you use fiat, euro, dollar, yen, Thai baht, Indonesian rupiah, whatever country you live, and you don't obey them, they can freeze your account. They control you because you use their currency. For me, Bitcoin was an escape. I saw what happened in Greece. I saw what happened in Cyprus. I see what is happening in Venezuela nowadays and all over the world. If you don't use their currency, they can't freeze anything. I don't have bank accounts. I have Bitcoin wallets. If they want to, for example, pressure me to do vaccinations, and if not, I will freeze your bank account, that's not possible for me. And many more things that they not like threaten you to do is not any more possible for the centralized organizations when you don't use their currency. They only control you when you use their currency. And that is why Bitcoin for me is a freedom fight. It's not just becoming millionaire. It's a freedom fight that at the same time provides access to every single person on the world with a heartbeat and a telephone that is what bitcoin means to me and yes i made a lot of videos about financial tools that you can use you know to earn bitcoins but now you know the reason behind it because i want to make it possible for you that you break free from that same poisoned red system where force you to run in a hamster wheel and i want you to break out of it 
And that's why I think Bitcoin is a crazy cool tool to do it. That's why I educate people on trading. Because I think you can succeed in this by trading. Now, the thing is that I became maybe a little bit too commercial. I'm going to admit it. I maybe did too many videos about the price and not enough anymore about life and blockchain. And that is what I'm going to change this year. This is the first video. I'm going to focus more and more on blockchain, the technology. I'm going to focus more and more on mindset, how to provide you with the tools that you maybe can make the same jump that we made. We switched life by not using their currency anymore. And I think that is a very important step for people to understand. And I want to try to take away the fears that people might have to take that step. And I think I can reach most people by just making these videos and talk about all that stuff that we went through as a family and that you could be going through now as well. So the first thing that we did when we went all in is calculate. We calculated and we, we trusted in Bitcoin. So we calculated very simple. If we sell everything we have, we have a bag of money. And if you buy some Bitcoins and we will be able to live off these Bitcoins and then have a few Bitcoins left in 2021, 22, those few Bitcoins will represent more value than we ever invested before. So we trusted in Bitcoin. That was the first step we took. And to take that step, we needed to lose the fear of losing everything. So we needed to abandon the materialistic world. We needed to go with the flow of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is low, we lived in Thailand. If Bitcoin is high, we live in Mexico. And that's how we minimize the cost of living in the expensive periods when Bitcoin is down. Now, I don't think it will go down to those levels that we needed to survive on Bitcoin. Like when Bitcoin was 3K, life was like 1.5 Bitcoin per month. I don't think we will ever reach those levels again. <laughs> but of course, if you sell your house now, you can also buy less Bitcoins. So there is a video on the YouTube channel that is telling you exactly how we did the calculations. So if you want to learn more about that, then just watch that video. And people keep responding to me in these videos, in the direct message. Yeah, but are you really stupid? Do you really think that, you know, they only control us because of currency? They have armies, they have tanks, they have guns, they have police forces, they have all of that. And then I'm like, okay, we are not there yet that people understand this. That is all of that they can only pay with their currency. And their currency has only value because you and I use it. And if you stop using their currency, and if everyone stops using their currency, the dollars, the euros, they, that there is no value anymore. And if they don't have value, they can't buy those guns, police, and all that stuff anymore with that fiat money. Then they need to step over into our world, and that is called Bitcoin, which is decentralized and which forces them to give up some power they now have to control you. And that is exactly the point in life that we are. And this whole flu situation is showing us this perfectly. It's showing us how they control you, us, because of fear. Because of what they spread in the media, how fearful they made you of losing your jobs, of losing this, of losing that, of losing access to cinemas, of losing access to restaurants, of lo and that's why you needed to be vaccinated. And the only reason you did it because you were afraid, like a lot of you did it because of safety, respect, but many of you, I think the most of you, did it because you wanted to go on holidays, did it because you didn't want to lose your job. They couldn't have fired you with a legal reason, in my opinion, it's against all human rights, but that is how centralized organizations, organizations try to oppress human beings, control them. That's how the world goes around. And I think Bitcoin is the first time in our lives with the blockchain technology that can set us free from all of that. So for me, it's a revolution with an R. I know my English is bad, but it's a revolution in Spanish. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to talk to you about that and, and then people start to attack me as well. I also want to say that very straight here about taxes. Why don't you pay taxes? 
I do pay taxes or I could be ta paying taxes but I'm registered in a country where they don't tax you on Bitcoin. Do I believe that the tax system is a good system? No, no, it's terrible. <laughs> Just imagine, I earn $500 today. I pay my income tax on those $500. Then I give those $500 to you for your birthday. Then you pay income tax on that same $500. And then you spend those $500 in a store and then store needs to pay tax on their profits on the same $500. And that's how it goes on and on and on. We are paying taxes on the same $500 like multiple times. I don't see that as a valid system. But it doesn't mean that I don't play by the book. I play by the book. But I play by the Portuguese book. And the Portuguese book tells me you don't need to pay taxes on Bitcoin. And if you are there and you understand that you can have a free life if you don't own too much, then you could register in Portugal as well. And by owning not that much, I just mean if you minimize your possessions, um, traveling becomes light. And in these times, we don't need to own a house or a car or a bike or a motor scooter anymore because we can use them. We can just lend them or we can drive them from A to B and just pay the kilometers we drove. We can be in houses through Airbnb. We can use all the luxury that you need without owning it. And I think this whole blockchain cryptocurrency industry is going to take that to the next level. I think ownership of materialistic stuff will be having less value in the future because you won't need to own it anymore you will just need to use it whenever you want and i think that's a beautiful thing because most of the things will become entities on the blockchain and themselves i think a car will be driving around in the future as well and be an own entity and that own entity will go to a garage to be repaired and pay the garage with currency and the garage will be robots that is repairing that car you know it's i think that is the future of technology and i don't think we can even stop that anymore so but that's maybe another discussion another video i hope you now understand why um, i made this video i hope you now understand that yes i regret a little bit that i abandoned all the blockchain and the mindset videos and that i only focus on the price videos uh, i promise you guys i'm going to change this um, I feel guilty not doing it because I need to change. Um, I, I need to make that sort of content. I want to share that sort of content with my followers because I think it's really important to understand the true meaning of Bitcoin and that it's not only there to replace money or gold or to make you rich. It is also there to give you the freedom that you deserve. So. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all of this? And if you really like it, give it a lot of thumbs ups and a lot of comments and show me that you want to see more than these of these kind of videos. Because if I don't get the views, <laughs> it doesn't motivate me to make these videos. And that's what happened last year. The views of these kind of videos went down and the views of very simple price videos went up. And I want you now to understand the true meaning of Bitcoin. So please give a lot of thumbs ups, comments for the YouTube algorithm. And that I can understand that you follow me as well for the blockchain and life part. And not only for the Bitcoin price part. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again guys. Bam!